What's going on, YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And I've got a, I think it's going to be exciting video if everything works as planned. Pluggable sent me a care package with a few products in it. And this was something that stood out and caught my attention. And being a nerd, a geek, somebody who uh, <laughs> absolutely loves stuff like this, I had to give it its own video. This is a really cool device. USB-C three-port hub with pass-through charging. So it's got a Type-C port there. So you can go ahead and give this thing some power, possibly provide power to devices that are connected there, or possibly power your phone. I don't know yet. Charges host system. Actually, I do know. <laughs> there you go. It says it right there. So let's go ahead and crack a bottle, <laughs> open this thing up, and plug it into our two phones that have Type-C and see what it can and cannot do. All righty. There we have it. Nothing else in the box. Very simple. Very simple. To host, to USB, and then charge input only. Awesome. Very awesome. So let's see what we can and cannot do with this. Let's go ahead and connect it to our Nexus 6B here. Uh, it is asking us to download the 7.0 update as of today, but I'm going to go ahead and hold off on that in case maybe there's something in here that breaks this. So let's plug this into the bottom and see what happens. Uh, oh, a little light on the bottom there. It's blue. Kind of hard to see in the video, but in person you can see it clearly. Let's go ahead and grab our keyboard and mouse here. I forget it's right here. And then plug it in. Plug it in. Like that. And now, would you look at that? <laughs> would you look at that? <laughs> Well, that is really freaking cool. So we can open up Chrome. And we can type in who is, what would Josh do? And wait for the, <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's interesting. So we'll do control all to select all the text there. Let me zoom out so you can see the keyboard a little better. And then, uh, you know what? Let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. This, this might be a little better. I don't know. I don't have a way to stand this sucker up, actually. Um, dang it. All right, so here we go. <laughs> that has to work. WW, nope, control all, select WW Josh DEW. There we go. And you can go ahead and use two fingers to scroll down. That's pretty freaking cool. That's my Twitter, Instagram, all this stuff right there. And. You can go ahead and do WW Josh DW Nexus 6P. There you go. Pretty freaking awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and try a flash drive here. See what happens. It's and there's showing that there's USB stuff connected up here. Unsupported Kingston USB device. So it wants me to format it because it is, I think, an NTFS file system and it's not registering. But there you go, you could store content on there, or you could hook up something that is USB and use it on here, such as this keyboard and mouse. So, how would you clear, I don't think you can clear notifications from there. Uh, okay, so we got a home button here, it takes us home, awesome! So if we go back to Chrome here, we've also got a back button to go back. And then a recent apps button, oh, this is cool! This is, this is pretty awesome. This little guy is... Definitely, definitely something you should pick up and get. In fact, pluggable USB-C port hub. And then, there we go. There's the website for it. This little guy right here, if you want to purchase it. Uh, oh, it says US USB for power supply. There you go. To buy one, they cost $31.95, depending. So let's go ahead and click USA and click buy now. It's going to take us to Amazon. And on Amazon, they are $31.95. And I wasn't going to stop there. This is the charger that came with my Nexus 6P. Let's go ahead and plug this in here. Uh, nothing on here happens differently. Let's go ahead and choose power supply. Like it says to do. We'll unplug it. Plug it back in. 
Doesn't look like we're getting power to this thing. All right, before we end this, let's go ahead and connect it to our Note 7. Yes, I am being absolutely lit up with notifications about the charging issue. And I'm going to do something about it. I don't charge this thing while I'm gone because of the what's happening. So there you go. I, I said it. I freaking know about the charging issues that are going on with this thing. Okay, our uh, Note 7 is currently charging with this connected. So we can go here to uh, www.joshdw. See, this doesn't give me the option to do it, and I can't seem to get the keyboard to work. Let's unhook it. Charging connected device via USB. Now that it's unhooked, let's see if it works now. So there we go. Now it works. Let's plug it back in since the keyboard's working. And we're good. Awesome. So we can go ahead and copy that. What? Copy to clipboard. And we'll paste it. So this is this is a really cool little thing here. You could open up your messenger app and write out a message to a friend or anything like that and type it all out and use the convenience of your keyboard versus that. And then we can hook up. Uh, let's try this on a uh, next or Note 7. One of the various phones we have available. Come on. It's probably going to say unsupported. It would pop up a file manager if it was supported. We'll see. Awesome. Looks like it's actually showing our drive here. Uh, we got the same files that are on here are showing up. So we can go ahead and view anything we have downloaded on there if we wanted to do that. So that's pretty freaking awesome. You don't obviously have to have this powered. That's if, if you want to charge the phone at the same time you're doing things. So we'll back out. So we'll go ahead and select that one more time by going to the Kingston USB drive. And there we go. The files are all there. Interestingly enough, it says our phone is charging when it most definitely is not charging. So, don't know why it says that, but it is what it is. We've got a mouse. And we've got a keyboard and we've got a flash drive and we can hook something up else up to it as well. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. I will have a link to this in the description below. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not doing so already. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not done that yet. This is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out. As far as the review of this phone, I don't know. There's things I like about it. There's things I don't like about it. I'm probably going to just send it back to Samsung and go back to my Note 5, which is sitting on top of my refrigerator because it is still a great phone, and there's some things I'm not a huge fan of with this device, such as the screen is curved, and if you're looking at it like this, some of the text is kind of overhanging because and then you got to tilt it up a little bit to see it a little better so I, I i am actually a fan of the flat screen versus this and i as far as day-to-day -day operations this phone doesn't feel any faster than the note 5 uh, obviously it is a newer phone it's like hey i have a note 7 and that's the latest thing but sometimes that doesn't matter and the note 5 is a fantastic device i don't know what i'm gonna do am i just skip the review of the Note 7 and compare the Note 5 to the Note 7 and call it a day. I don't know what I'm going to do. The future never, you never know. Anyways, thanks for listening to me babble and thanks for being around, sticking around and putting up with my laziness. <laughs> this is what would Josh do and I'm out.